Yeah. Hello, Grunges are on view, this time for our sale on the 14th of August. We're in the warehouse having a little interesting mixture, uh, to say the least. Uh, let's start with lot 1005. Rather nice, nice terracotta like garden pots, being well, well used and well loved and yeah. well it's decorated. Quite, quite a nice uh, carpet. It's a most unusual carpet, yes. isn't it? This is hmm. lot number sort of eleven forty-three, yeah. and it's a woven carpet. It's a good size, I'd say. That's oh, looks like about eight by twelve foot or thereabouts. We will have measured it. Um, condition also looks pretty good. So there we go, an interesting carpet for you. Yep. And then let's drag down big uh, another one of these big They're um, nice, aren't they? garden yeah. suites. Got 11.44, I think actually it's a, a real offer. Um, but uh, yes, it's good size. Um, carrying on, this is smart, isn't it? Nicely presented sort of face on yeah, so the room. Yeah. 10.47. Um, so typically called a mule chest. Uh, what's nice about this one is the panelling. Uh, just lifts it a bit. The, also the colour, this nice sort of light uh, oak colour to it. I'm gently lifting the top. It, <laughs> yes, doesn't, it has wooden idea. sort of fittings for the hinges rather than metal ah, scrap nice. hinges. Um, mm -hmm. And then obviously you've got the two drawers below. Nice so, brackets so feet. So this is to stop a, a mirror or something? Yeah, somebody's added that to, to stop a put a charger there or a yeah. plate rack or something. Okay. But there we go, that's not a bad little mm. piece of furniture. Here's something different, lot 1011. <laughs> it is, isn't it? This is solid plastic. <laughs> um, and there we are, lady doing her hair. Um, yes. There are some other interesting uh, exotic items in the sale um, that we'll cover when we come across them. So big um, conservatory, sort of Lloyd Loom style settees there, 1049. Nice fabric, is that Morris? Um, it could be, couldn't it? Yeah. Sort of inspired by it. Inspired so. by. Some wheels, wagon wheels, quite literally, 10, 16. Large pair. Um, long case clocks. Thomas quested of why. A, uh, an eight day, we know that because it's got the two holes. Eight day sort of cottage long case in oak with some mahogany. Nice clean, probably 1780, 1800. Lot 1018, re-offer from before. Mm. The curse of the long case clocks continues. <laughs> um, well, not today. Not today, today. We've no. Got we a sale going on today. Fifteen hundred yeah. pounds, didn't we? There yes, we go. Don't we tell did. anyone that. Like, well, hope. Uh, lot ten twenty. This Hammer. is an orange. This, this is very orange. Very yes. orange. Um, so in a modern property, it would look rather fun, wouldn't it? Would, it? Wouldn't it? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. And it's 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 it stands out, as yes. they say. Um, carrying on down, we see some sort of mid-century furniture and some some what is commonly called brown furniture, uh, which is still seeing the same sort of general struggle to uh, get away, I have to add. This is fun. Bowman Brothers of Camden Town. <laughs> I like this dressing screen with this sort of slatted lattice effect. That's lot 1027, a little bit different. Yep. Now, which aisle do you fancy? What's your money on? This one down the middle? Yeah, let's go down the middle. 1066, nice sunburst middle. Yes. Mirror, carved um, gilt wood. 1062, re-offered, perfectly reasonable mahogany chest of drawers. Yeah. Looks to be about 1790. Does have later handles, which have kind of gone over the escutcheons, which is a little bit annoying, but nice color and unusual arrangement of two and four graduated drawers. Yeah. Um, yeah, you know, still really good value should you require one. Uh, unusual long oak center table here, 1076. Oh, yes, so it is. It's not one for sort of dining at, it's more well, a freestander kitchen yeah. table or if you've got a big kitchen, something like that. Uh, 1056 searchlight or similar lamp Mazda, it says <laughs> um, down below. We're still seeing that kind of item as being popular. We've got some table lamps here, 1081. We've got some funky looking armchairs. Uh, and then across the way, last but not least, over in this room, uh, we have lot 11.32, a totem pole. There we go. You don't, get, don't see too many of those, do you? No. And uh, this, I th you know, it's painted, so it feels like it's fiberglass underneath. So you could put it outside. But any maybe, relations maybe to you? Any, any relations those? to me? No. Hope you're not. I might as well stand here. <laughs> like got bird it looks like you've got a nice hat yeah, on. I you'd like that. There we go. <laughs> cool. So there we go. It's all in the warehouse as ever. We're going to poke about in the smalls. In the main cell room then, looking at some of the furniture, another Georgian Trust, a, we think this is a faded squirrel, we don't think he's albino, we think he was once red and he's sort of aged, look, 1601, with a useful drawer to keep things below your squirrel, which is quite nice. 
Um, I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> I like this, 11.53. Yes, that's nice. Plans, so these plan chests, chests yeah. are usually pretty good sellers, but this one's particularly nice, I think, because you've got these usual sliding trays, but then you've got a timbre front ah. and a rather nice sort of painted grey surround. So a bit better than the average. Estimates two to three hundred. As always, we hope it will make a bit more. Yep. Um, we've got some decorative artworks uh, showing on the walls, such as this John Strevens painting. He's a sort of a name that's been around for many years, often painting nudes and the like. That's lot 1705. Happy lady. Let's go find the smalls there. Okay, so in the smalls proper, um, key feature to this sale on the 14th is a book section. There's about 50, 60 lots of assorted books. This is how we're going to be doing books from now on, is, is a sort of specialist section within a weekly sale. And you also see a rollout of other specialist sections, such as sort of luxury, you know, the vintage handbags and the like, uh, Vuitton, that sort of thing. You'll see military weapons and medals, coins, uh, what else have we got? Toys, uh, teddy bears. Toys, teddy bears and dolls. And then in science, addition, music. musical and science. Yes. So a few specialist categories. Vinyl. Vinyl as well. And we've also got uh, 20th century furniture. Mid-century oh, furniture. And that. Yes, mid-century. <laughs> so we'll be rolling these out, keeping you posted about them. But if you've got any of those categories and you're thinking of selling them, these are going to be where they're targeted into, rather than just sort of dropped into fine or weekly sales. So yes, books in this cell on the 14th, travels in Africa, Morris's British birds, all sorts of subjects, have a good look through. Uh, sitting above them, there's a um, John Bamfield oil, very much of the era, that style of painting. Lot 1650, can't see a title on the back, but there we go, if that's your thing, then uh, hopefully it's very much your thing. Um, along the line here, Further decorative paintings. Another squirrel. More squirrels, but they're not in the cell yet, oh. so don't get too excited. No. That's a menagerie of squirrels, I do believe. I'm going to go behind here and have a look and see what's what. We've got some rather posh opera glasses. Again, opera glasses used to be quite collectible and sought after, particularly if they had the enameled barrels. Uh, Mother of pretty, Pearl eyepieces, apparently unsigned. Looks like they're in with um, another pair that have this sort of telescopic usually he tries to telescope it and it doesn't necessarily work but anyway there there's another pair so the two in together that's lot 1571 mirror below was sold last week made a lot yes, of money didn't it, it? Did. over a thousand pounds it did very good um up on the shelves here then a collection of assorted glassware round about the 1530 lot numbers onwards nice mixture all sorts of things look here we go look at this this is lot 1537 it's a good size isn't it it's a good size and it's engraved with a panel saying gretna green ah it looks like they're getting married over the over the anvil by the blacksmith how old is that do you think oh i would say that's sort of mid 19th century probably 1538 nice. we have uh, marlborough at ramillies the duke of marlborough on horseback there a uh, little old trade label on it, giving a detail around about 1806. So an interesting lot of glassware there for you. If you like pigs. If you like pigs, 1548 is here for you. Beatrix Potter, Pigling Bland, oh, uh, an assortment, Potter. yeah, an assortment right. of piggy wigs. And what's this down here? This... this is a casket in the style of a Limoges medieval casket. So I guess sort of 12th century or something right. like that, but a, a later reproduction that's probably sort of late 19th century in my opinion lot 1561 mm. there's some chinese things there's a remarkable Gosh. um <laughs> peacock feather fan the colors on that are just stunning yeah aren't they? quite something yes in with um a couple of vintage items a sort of beadwork bag lot 1565 and this rather nice case set at that french um with uh, this sort of cut steel or silver work and leather purse and notebook 1565 there a bit of silver down the end not huge amounts to shout about but there are some nice enough things in here such as these little miniature timepiece there that is lot 1812 mm. nicely enameled yes a more a slightly more modern one there lot 1811 uh, what, oh, this! I wanted to show you this. You saw this in a photo, didn't oh, you? Oh yes, I didn't realise how big it was. It is, it's an absolute whopper, isn't it? Oh, that's great fun. And so this is typically um, a scent perfume. bottle. Crikey! But, you imagine uh, filling that up. What's great about this? It's an atomizer. So there's the nozzle, the squirter, 
and you you pump the you pump the top there God. to pump out your spray. That your, must have been for a really smelly person. Yeah, like that. Yes, very smelly person. <laughs> 1817. So that's that's very rather fun, thing. isn't it? Yes. It yeah, is. rather yeah. fun. Nice little rose bowl there. 1824. The inscription is dated from 1918. Not particularly remarkable inscription, but nice enough rose bowl. Uh, there's a nice Victorian sort of teapot there. Yeah. Is it Vicky? It was a bit earlier. William the Fourth, I think. There we go. That's Lord 1815. So as ever, a few bits of silver for you to have a look at. Let's go and nose around. So oh, in yeah. the smalls, a lot of variety as ever. The little people have arrived. Lots of Ladro figures I'm seeing. Uh, Royal Crown Derby coffee services. Sort of Meissen style kettles on stands. Rather smart clock here. Mm. 1369 with the calendar moon face dial in its original slate case. Uh, that's quite a solid item. Yeah. A real melange here of uh, Dalton and other pottery. Yeah. Um, so that, I like one, that one, I would expect that one. Yeah, that's Dalton and Lambeth, dated from 1883. Uh, I don't recognize the artist Mark, but it's almost Persian style, aren't they? These little panels. Yeah. So that's quite really sweet. Nice. And mm. you get some sort of studio pottery in with it and, and a whole mixture of interesting bits and pieces that's nice um, too i like that one yeah that is a nice one yeah that's sort of probably heading near the 20s 30s so it will have become royal dalton but again stoneware ah, okay. nicely done mm. so yeah nice lot of pottery great big telescope there yes 1367 and then holidays is in more, spain is that more of yes you've got your ryan on the dalton today haven't you that's 1364 yeah. mm. again royal dalton what have we got bluebells and white flowers yes uh, alternating panels that, quite that smart would later wouldn't it yes again that's probably 20s 30s yeah holidays in spain down below flamenco dancers in ladro good size mm. cross the way then and as uh, here's a local sussex watercolor near bogner sussex by henry charles fox lot 1676 as i walk backwards down here some reproduction paintings these these sort of recently painted oils in the style of you'll see a number of those in the cell they're just decorative works there's nothing more to them than that uh, there's a splendid pair of figures look at them good size 1405 um, look to be 18th century they've got the gold anchor mark but i don't think they're chelsea gold anchor i suspect they're copies but dan will have decided and catalogued them accordingly on lot 1405. Mm. Big pike there, lot 1420 is a Gosh, re offer. It is, it's huge. Then I've noticed some um, sort of, um, it looks like more crop, but this is actually Dennis China Works, um, lot 1422. Quite stylish pattern there, and with it, uh, another Dennis China Works. What does it say? After W de M, after William de Morgan, okay. influenced by his style. Um, quite nicely done. Isnick tile there, 1421, but damage to the base. And again, in this sort of manner of God. early Moorcroft, this is this is Moorcroft, but that pattern is very much emulating a much earlier sort of 1900, 1910 Moorcroft pattern of the fish. Mm. In fact, we sold some vases here a million years ago for over £20,000 that were of that period, but this is 1439, much more recent. Right. Um, it's probably got a date code on it. You could actually work out the year from that um, so otherwise yeah again penguins great fun look at that aren't they fun, aren't yeah. they fun? yes it's a penguin pot it's dennis china works <laughs> um pot. you'll be able to sally tuff in design st design underneath there that's great fun isn't it oh that's sweet um, oh, no, the and little with baby it, at the top yeah oh yes did he pingu <laughs> 1474 oh, more adorable. penguins yeah and and then a bigger penguin pot with the with the emperors on really nice. so nice lot that if you like your penguins if you like your sally tuffin yes uh, i'm still seeing more of it 1478 but it catches the eye because it's so nicely done it is deeply deeply beautifully yes bluebell oh. dennis china works again sally tuffin design again nicely done the one behind with it rather. you get yeah. a sort of lily aurum lily shaped vase huh. so uh, we continue on that theme um, there's more down there. That looks like Moorcroft. Over here, I'm going to squeeze around here and show you the size of this one. 1387. Look uh, at that. So more carp. Yes, more so carp. Similar to that. Again, plate. it's Moorcroft. It's a Sally Tuff in design, dated 1993. It's a great big one. It is, isn't it? So um, I can hear them cheering in the background. I think um, 
England might have won the, the ladies' football match. Ah, so that they're all says. very happy, you know. Good. Yeah. Oh, that's Good great to know news, that they're doing it? that. Yes. Um, so there we go. Good mixture of smalls. Do you want to poke about the jewellery? I do, yes. Right, we're going to do that. So in the strong room, what have we got in the jewellery section? A relatively modest selection, but in amongst it, some, some reasonable gems. 1835. Very smart brooch. Yes, that is lovely. Diamond set. Yes. Probably rock crystal, I imagine. The, uh, mm. the, the material for the oval. Yeah. 1835. Yes. Uh, 18, we're doing a lot number. 1841. Okay. Quite a smart guard chain. Nine carat gold. Fancy link. Slight sort of rosy yes. colour to it. Good weight. That's yeah. quite nice. Yes. Uh, 1843. There's a gents Omega Seamaster. Automatic. Nice enough dial, not quite the patty pan dial, but close to. Uh, needs a bit of cleaning up, as you can see on the dial. The glass is a bit scuffed, but still, it's honest. Yes. 1843, and it is going. Mm. Uh, 1850. It is always a plus, isn't it? 1850, not guaranteed at auction. 1850, no. mixed lot of brooches. So what do we get? We get quite a nice oh, like early brooch with uh, a later backing pin. That's no surprise, but looks like possibly rose diamonds uh, and foiled stones little maybe nice little hair work urn in the middle sweet little thing yes then you get a sort of 1830 ish garnet probably set memorial brooch Victorian gold brooch we've got a, a remnant of something else look it's got stunted terminals may have had a watch key that sort of thing on the ends, um, so that's a bit battered. And oh, then nice a detail. nice detail, a nice yeah. little intaglio there, but with a little chip to the top of a cupid with a rearing lion or bear or something like that. It's quite fun, but just set in silver. So there we go, 1850, little mixed lot for you. Uh, 1853, back to Omega again. This time, not, it's a very smart gentleman's wristwatch, both yes, the watch and the gentleman, I'm sure. Yes. It's a Seamaster Deville, so it's a sort of Deville being the, the, the sort of more smart version of less sporty i suppose version um looks to be in nice condition i think it's nine carat gold the clasp is omega that's stamped for nine carat um so it's smart little watch that yeah uh how about let's have a look in a packet inside here 1860 pair of earrings drop earrings diamonds and they quite fun, rubies they're they? rather sweet aren't yes. they i think they're 18 carat white gold mm -hmm. so quite nice there and what, um, and what do you think the pink would be? I'm I'm thinking that's ruby, but maybe it's mm. some other pink stone, actually, because they are a bit pinky, aren't they? Uh, 1858, yeah. Theo Fennell, 18 karat gold ring, size M. You're not going to you're not going to resize that. Is that your size? Yeah. Oh dear. Yeah, 1858, nice. and finally, last but not least, 1861, 18 karat white gold. This sort of peacock feather style ring diamond set it's got an old trade label on it saying 3850 pounds which um which uh seems quite strong but um i don't think we have an estimate anything like size. that it's a good size that it's, it is quite pretty isn't yeah it? it's quite pretty isn't it? it's very unusual so yes. there we go 861 so there we go nice. mixture of jewelry in the sale all sorts of other goodies as ever to have a look at come along and have a look or otherwise look online and we welcome your attention and bids thank you